Hello and welcome to LA Geospatial. We have been exploring our way in ArcGIS Pro. So the last video we looked at how to georeferenced. So this video we are going to be creating a future class and we're going to digitize building. Alright, so coming to your Arc catalog, we already have a folder we've been working on which is under this Elite and then the Abuja, then we have our AMAC. But we have our geodatabase. So under the facilities, we're going to create a test future class under it. So we'll right click on it and you come to new and future class. So the future class name will be building. All right, so the Future class name will be building and it's a polygon. And then we go to next, next, next. So we're not going to be naming it because this is normal, like we're going to know who owns the building and all that. So we'll just do your digitizing. So it's created. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come to our edit and then we'll make sure that our snapping is on and then we're going to click on the create future now the building is showing so I'm going to zoom without bringing any more image from anywhere so I'm just going to zoom with from our we already have a base map on the ground but all you need is to have internet anyway so I'm going to choose, we have the polygon, we have the auto complete polygon, and then we have the right angle, we have the cycle, and then we have the rectangle. So this tutorial, we're going to use the polygon. And the next video, we're going to use the rectangle. So on the polygon, you're going to make a selection. One, two three, four, and you double click. All right, so, so let's add, so the roof of these buildings are in a circular form, but that's not what we are considering now. So we just convert them to this just make sure that you are doing it rightly so just follow me so this is basically how you would digitize. Now, this have enabled us not to bring in any uh, satellite imagery. You could just switch between your your. You just switch within your your uh, base maps, and then you get what you want. So let's use this cycle to digitize this because each of these tools has a purpose. That's why. You see they are been like this. So you see that as I click and I release, so it's created the cycle. But then there is a problem. The, the has, it has other rectangular buildings here, which let's see, we're still using the polygon too. And then let's, so we're going to put it inside. So we also have another one here and put it inside. There are other small, small ones around the building, which you have to follow if you want the shape of the building to come out. So which means we're doing it. So delete it. So let's say we're following all of this. Now, 
without any trying to finish up this let's just uh, select and open be merging them so that it don't have uh, because if you see now you see that they are lines so we need to match them together so once you click on select you click modify then you go down to okay you highlight all of them now they are all highlighted so you go down to this match tool here you also have it up here so you could use this one or use this so it's going to match all of them together yes so it's telling you do you want us to match all of this say so yeah, match so it has matched all of them so though we still have other few ones around here that will have picked but because of the time consciousness so but then you can continue digitizing but then make sure you follow all of the uh, procedure now we have the national marks here this is a complicated building so you need to follow all the steps now let's try and use um, the same polygon to digitize this Now it's because of the resolution of this image you could virtually see all that you want so you need to make sure you have a good image thanks to a Siri this ArcGIS Pro is helping so much and then So let me make this a hollow so that we can see every other thing we want to do. So we still have cycles inside. So we're going to oh, we're going to select cycle. Then we select this. Do the same thing with this circles all here. So then we have another landscape here, but then basically this explains that yeah, we've done justice to this. But then there's still one thing that is missing. If we release the we release the the symbol, you will realize that we only see one, which is the last one, but we need to see everything. So to do that we still have to match them. So you click select and you click modify and you select all of them together and then you click match to match all of them oops it's not going to work this time around so So once all of this is done, the thing is you cannot right now um, put the, the symbology because it's not really going to bring out this layer. So we, I think for now you have to leave it like this until we can find solution to it. So 
Um, this is the little I can bring to you on the polygon. So I'll see you in the next one where we work on the rectangular tool and I will give you my recommendation which one I feel is faster and which one is better for me. So see you in the next video.